Hello everyone, I'm Robert Schuch with a quick overview of installing the new consumer preview of Windows 8. As you've probably heard, Microsoft's been hard at work, in their words, reimagining Windows. The new version has a mix of new and old features and boots into a tiled mode similar to what you might see on a smartphone or tablet. It features a collection of apps, including the new Internet Explorer 10, which you can open just by clicking the tile. The old start menu with its difficult to scroll list of installed programs has been eliminated to streamline the OS for modern times. I'll have more on that later. First, the exciting news. The Windows 8 preview is now available free of charge at Microsoft.com. You can either download a setup program to run on your existing Windows installation or an ISO image which you can burn to a DVD for a clean installation or to run in a virtualized environment. I chose virtualization since I didn't want to disturb my existing Windows setup with beta software. For this process, I used the free VirtualBox software from Oracle running on top of Windows Vista. It's a simple matter to point the VirtualBox software to your downloaded ISO file and start up the virtual environment. If you're new to virtualization, you'll get a kick out of watching the virtual machine boot from its virtual DVD drive. On first boot, you're greeted with a clean, easy-to-use installation screen. Just pick your language and press the Install button. You'll be prompted to enter a product key, which Microsoft is providing free of charge for this version, and you're off and running. In my case, I had an old preview version already installed and I was prompted to save any old files. Since I wanted a clean installation, I elected to delete the old partition and create a new one. The process was fast and easy. Then, it's time for the setup routine to do its thing. Let it run, and after just a few minutes and two automatic reboots, you are ready to name your PC and create a user account. By default, they want you to set up a cloud account linked to your email address, but you can skip this step by selecting the local account option. If you do so, though, you'll be limited in the access to cloud functionality. Windows then finalizes your settings, and that's all there is to it. You're up and running in Windows 8. I'll have more information on Windows 8 to come, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.